Dad, it's makeover time, but not for me, even though I need it the most. It's for my tired old trailer. Ah! I've had this thing for over 20 years, and I'm not old enough to have anything for 20 years, so. Let's get started. Now since this trailer's been with me a long time, we're going to give it the makeover it deserves. That means new decking, new paint, new lights, new tires, I don't know what else. Let's go to Harbor Freight, spend some money. Cue the background music. First thing we gotta do, we're gonna cut this flat iron out so that we can pull the boards out. And just keep it. But there is a torch later. For those of you that are interested, I'll put a link on what I used and what it costs to make this video and everything that I put into this trailer. And you could hit the like button. I know it's kind of annoying when people ask for that, but all it takes is a couple likes and YouTube starts showing my video to a lot more people. It makes a huge difference on a small channel like mine. Appreciate you guys watching. Got tons of scrap metal from all the skid steer attachments. So, we're gonna be resourceful. I'm using this angle iron for the dovetail to place underneath each one of these 2x12s. This has been bent a few times previously. I'm known to overload my trailer here and there, especially with the new skid steer, so this is really going to help with that. It's not just going to be the 2x6s like it used to be. I'm going up to 2x12s and then also adding this angle iron and welding in. It's going to be a lot stronger moving forward. Remember that this is a budget build, so we're going to reuse everything, and everything is really bent, so I'm having to separate everything out, beat it back into place. Like I said, this trailer's old, it's been abused, and, you know, trying to keep budget as low as possible. The cost of materials is outrageous these days, so here we go. Now I made the mistake of leaving the boards out for a couple months in the sun and see like these here have warped a little bit so getting out the clamps to straighten them out so I can weld in this support bracket.
last board. We do this in real time. Here I am welding the last bracket in place and we've got a new deck. So let's take a quick look around. Check out how good this looks. Deck is done, but the trailer still looks like crap. So we're gonna do a few things to beautify that. Let's start by stripping it down, giving it a wash. We're gonna paint the wheels. On to the next part. And after way too much sanding that was completely unnecessary, way overdid it. Let's get some paint on this thing, really shine it up, finish this thing off. And painting the wheels might be unnecessary, but look how good it looks in the end. And we're not just painting, we're also going to do some new lights. We're even going to put on some new reflective stickers. Everything on here is going to be new. at the end so here you go keep in mind this was a budget build but things are so expensive you saw everywhere I tried to save money we have $450 in lumber $27 in paint 60 bucks in sanding discs mostly with the drum sander $480 for new tires but they are 10 ply that's probably my best upgrade $24 for lights 12 bucks for reflective tape a new safety chain was 10 bucks and some miscellaneous like paint brushes and stuff like that. I threw in 30 bucks for a grand total drum roll, $1,094. Adds up super fast, still over a thousand bucks. This was a budget, but hey, it's better than a $10,000 new trailer. I appreciate you guys watching this far. Thanks again for watching.